The appeals trial of American student Amanda Knox is heading toward its likely climax this week in Perugia, Italy. Peter Fansant of 48 Hours has filed a Sunday journal. In this ancient city of secrets and mysteries, of symbols and superstition, a 21st century drama is reaching a crescendo. Perugia, a walled Italian city dating back thousands of years, is now filled with symbols of the modern world as journalists cover the sensational murder trial of 24-year-old Amanda Knox, a former honor student from Seattle. When 50 TV trucks and 100 reporters suddenly descend into the center, into the historic center of this small town. It's an invasion. Author Nina Burley has written The Fatal Gift of Beauty, a detailed account of the Amanda Knox case. Based on my investigation, Amanda Knox had nothing to do with the murder of her roommate, Meredith Kircher. If only the case was that simple. 21-year-old Meredith Kircher, a student from Britain, was found murdered in November 2007 in the house she shared with Knox. Prosecutor Giuliano Menini first developed a theory that Kircher was killed during a satanic sex orgy. When his worldview is, evil walks on this earth. Menini claimed DNA evidence backed him up. Tabloid headlines made Knox out to be a she-devil. Knox and her Italian boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, were convicted of murder in 2009. But this past summer, during their appeal trial, the prosecution's case unraveled. It's impossible to list the DNA evidence, the hair evidence, the fingerprint evidence that puts Amanda Knox in the room because it doesn't exist. An independent scientific panel concluded the DNA evidence was unreliable. Tomorrow, Amanda Knox will give a statement in court proclaiming her innocence. Many observers here believe she could be set free by the end of the day.